Sergio Perez has continued with his poor performances in 2024 and now he is officially sixth in the Drivers' Championship with both Mercedes drivers being super close behind him. However, it seems like the Austrian team has given the Mexican driver an ultimatum that would have to be fulfilled in the next two races if he wants to see himself sitting next to Verstappen in the next two years that he signed up for a couple of weeks ago. Will Perez fulfill this ultimatum and if not, how will this shape up the entire F1 grid for 2025? It goes without saying it wasn't the best weekend for Perez at Silverstone and after Verstappen's moment at Cops in Q1, unfortunately for Checo, he beached his car in the gravel and dropped out of the running. And I don't know what's more humiliating, being lapped twice by Lewis Hamilton and teammate Verstappen or finishing behind Esteban Ocon's Alpine. All of this summarised by one huge head shaking from Horner back in the pit wall. Obviously, the contract with Perez that was signed a couple of weeks ago, granting him two more years with the team, is now the primary topic of discussion. But it seems like the Austrian team will be more than willing to activate a clause that they've put somewhere in there, but didn't make public to keep Perez focused and motivated in the future. When talking about the extension of Perez's contract and whether or not it was made a bit too early, Horner went on to say... That is a brutally hard question. It made absolute sense to sign Checo at that point in time, but this is a business in which there are pressures to deliver. We thought the contract would help, and I think it's something that Checo is working very hard on, and he knows this is a sport where there is no hiding. Particularly with Verstappen as your teammate, he knows he is being measured against the very best, and we need him up there supporting Max because there are two McLarens now, two Ferraris and two Mercedes, and we desperately need two Red Bulls. But if we are to look at how the past couple of races have gone down for Perez, it would be all but good news for the Austrian team. The Mexican driver failed to score points in Monaco and Canada due to DNFs, and in Spain, he only managed to get P8. As for Austria, it was a story for itself where he managed to get a P6 finish, and even though his teammate drove a full lap on three tyres, went into the pit stop for a change, served a 10-second penalty, and still managed to finish ahead of him. Red Bull somehow believes that Perez is the right candidate for the second seat in their team. But Silverstone might tell a different story and as of now it looks like Perez is all but safe with Helmut Marco sparking talks about Ricardo's future at Racing Bulls also being very uncertain due to the fact that the shareholders stated their opinion that this team is one that should be driven by young drivers and of course Ricardo is anything but one. On the other hand though, Ricardo might have a shot for the second seat in Red Bull because right now the team doesn't have that much to lose. Perez's competitiveness from the first five races has gone and if we're to look at when Gasly was replaced, it was in a very similar fashion in the middle of the season when the Frenchman was sixth in the Drivers' Championship. Keep in mind that Verstappen wasn't winning championships back then and Red Bull wasn't the most dominant force on the grid, which only puts in perspective how bad Perez currently is in one of the best cars under these regulations but with other teams catching up very quickly and with McLaren and Mercedes breathing down Red Bull's necks the team desperately needs a strong second driver who would be there when the ball drops for Max similar to what happened in Austria and almost happened in Silverstone had it not been for the mixed conditions and the botched strategy from McLaren for both of its drivers as well as the DNF for Russell. According to the media there are two clauses that have been involved in Perez's latest contract, with the first one being that he shouldn't be more than 100 points behind Verstappen after the Belgian GP, and the other one being that he shouldn't be five places behind Verstappen in the Drivers' Championship. Well, as of now, the gap between Verstappen and Perez stands at 137 points, and Perez is P6, under massive threat of losing this position to both Mercedes drivers, who are sitting at six and five points behind him. This is where Ricardo could step in and make the difference, because if you're to look at the Constructors' Championship, the lead of Red Bull is not nearly as big as they would have wanted at this time of year. They hold a 71-point lead over Ferrari, who are dropping the ball massively, while McLaren are just seven additional points behind them at P3. We also can't exclude Mercedes, who have been quite dominant in recent weekends, and they're standing at 221 points, most of them gathered in the last six races. When talking about his future, Ricardo admitted that there are 
are a lot of parties involved and right now there isn't anything certain but he refused to commit to racing bulls or to red bull and revealed his wishes to the media further adding i would never make any predictions in this sport i feel like every year that this sport goes on the more it gets i know it kind of goes in the trend of the sport is getting bigger it's becoming more hollywood so to speak in terms of the profile the sport has and also the narrative that runs with the sport now it's certainly more hollywood in terms of it it is so unpredictable so do i have any proof that i'll be anywhere else i do not and yeah it's that crazy things happen but i'm certainly not in a place to say that or think that or even predict it so i will try to keep doing my thing now, there is another thing that is very important to note, and that is Liam Lawson testing the RB20 later this week in Silverstone, which is more or less the same thing that was done by Ricardo at this time last year before he went on to secure De Vries' seat in Alpha Tauri. There is no doubt that Ricardo and Perez are under Horner's protection due to the fact that they took his side in the entire internal beef that happened inside the team. But nevertheless, when the performance isn't there, you can't really do that much. All you can do is push a couple of buttons pull a couple of strings and end up with the best result for your team right now a mid-season swap does look like the greatest thing for red bull and horner did secretly admit that there are other ways to put pressure on perez to perform other than the contractual obligations which could easily be the tire testing from lawson when talking about this matter christian horner said in all seriousness the liam test is an aero run that has been planned for a couple of months now but of course checo is under pressure that's normal in Formula One. Every driver is different. Some drivers need an arm around the shoulder, some need a kick up the butt. It varies from week to week. When you are under delivering, that pressure only mounts and Perez is aware of that. He knows that and this weekend nothing has really gone his way. Perez knows it's not sustainable to not be scoring points. We have to be scoring points with that car and he knows his role and his targets. It's frustrating when both of your cars aren't performing collectively and it was frustrating frustrating to lose him in Q1 in Silverstone. The 22-year-old has threatened to look for a seat elsewhere if Red Bull do not come forward with their own promise that they made once he finished the great five-race streak in 2023, scoring two points in Singapore on a track that he drove on for the first time in his career. At that time, it was the highest scoring result for an Alpha Tauri driver and massive interest was drawn from teams like Williams. However, Horner said there is no point in negotiating from Lawson's side for one year only because the team has something ready for him in 2025. It's yet to be seen what that is. And according to Helmut Marko's latest statements, it could be a seat next to Sonoda because as all things stand, even Verstappen's future in the Austrian team isn't safe given the fact that Mercedes won the last two races and are consistent podium contenders ever since Montreal, which is the number one thing that they could do in order to pursue the signature of the three-time world champion as early as 2025. With all this in mind, the situation in Red Bull could become quite volatile and even though Horner denies adding any importance to the Lawson testing that's about to happen in Silverstone this week, it's more than clear that the Austrian team is looking for alternatives and Perez might not even see the end of the 2024 season, let alone 2026 as it was originally agreed in the contract. Do you think that Red Bull should replace Perez and if so, do you think that Ricardo is the proper choice? Let us know what you think in the comments below and after you've done that, have a look at the video that's on your screen right now.